What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reloading some 40 cal pistol ammo. Now I've already polished the casings. In fact, uh, the next video on this will be uh, just a heads up, reloading 30 odd six. But right now we are going to work on 40 cal Smith and Wesson. All right. The thing about pistol ammo, it is a three die set. Uh, the first die you have here, which I'm going to be putting in, is for resizing and punching out the primer. The second die is since, let me find one here. Well, since a 40 cal bullet, pistol bullet, actually all pistols, never mind, doesn't matter, 40 cal, 44, whichever, uh, is not a boat tail round. So you need a second die, and what it does after you resize it is it just barely flares this just ever so slightly just enough to get the bullet started and then the third die is for seating the bullet okay now I'm ready to punch a few primers um, these little trays these loading blocks I mean they're they're nice especially when you get into the rifle rounds um, the thing with most pistol rounds is if you just save your old boxes which if you reload you do uh, they have little hard plastic trays, which, you know, work out just fine. Uh, you know, you can either, you can just reload that way, or, you know, you put them in there, it's basically the same thing. So if you don't, these are actually kind of spendy, so if you don't want to waste your money on those, you can simply use your old ammo box. Okay, now, the important, there, there's one thing that's really important. Um, I'm using the case lube too, but you need to lube your casing before you put it in any of your dies. The reason behind that is because if you don't, then it is liable to get stuck in your die and that can become a real problem. And then problem. you just roll them around. Make sure they get a good coat of that slime on there. And here's where the rag comes in handy. Then you merely place around in there. And well, you can't see it, but you probably heard it. There goes the primer. Okay, that one is now resized. Um, generally what I end up doing after I resize them is you can you can see there's a little bit of slime and stuff on there so at this point in time I usually just throw them on my rig after I get a handful of them done I go ahead and uh, wipe them off before I head off to the next phase anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a few of these knocked out and then, well, actually, I'll probably go ahead and get them all knocked out. And then I'll, uh, on the next phase, I will show you flaring them out slightly and loading the pack. Okay, welcome back. It is approximately 30 minutes later, and I have resized and punched the dead primer out of 120 uh, actually 130 if you count this one uh, casings I have visually whoa focus I have visually inspected them and I don't know if you can see that or not that was after resizing and punching the primer there's a little nick right there that is not coming out. Okay. This that next phase, garbage. like I said, is going to be a three-part phase. Uh, like I said, one, 
I'm going to inspect the bullet again. Two, I'm going to check it for length. Three, I'm going to clean out the primer pocket and inspect it also. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up and I'll walk you through a couple of those really quick. And then I'll get the rest of them done. Okay, I decided to set you guys up on a tripod. Alright, now, like I said, well, first you want to make sure your deal is zeroed. Um, maximum case length on the 40 cal is 0 0.850. Anything longer than that, you need to trim. And like I said, this is going to be a three-part deal. Okay, that casing there is 0.847. It's still under tolerances. I'm also inspecting the case at the same time and just a couple of twists of that clean in the primer pocket. Now this is where the empty casings will come in handy because this way I will also be able to continue each process and do them all. So the 49 that are in this tray here I am going to be moving back into the original boxes and where I have two of those I'll be able to continue as if I had trays. Check next one. 0.843 another good casing. A couple of spins, tap her out on the table and go to the next one. 0.845 and the reason casings in case you were wondering or didn't know the reason a casing will get longer is every time you fire around this expands to the size of the inside of the chamber of whatever weapon you're shooting well then when you resize it basically what you're doing is you're shrinking it back down to factory specs. Well, the extra brass has to go somewhere. I mean, it expands, then you shrink it in. What ends up happening over time is your casing starts growing. And when it gets too long, it won't chamber in your weapon properly. And that's when you have to trim it. Okay, we are almost done prepping the cases. <clears throat> um, I've already done these in those. What I'm doing now is deburn the inside with a quick spin, deburn the outside with this little deburn tool, and then using just a regular cleaning brush and a handle, clean the inside. I like it when I get to this process because this means we're only one process away from actually starting to reload. We are almost done prepping our brass. Okay, we are down to the last phase of prepping the casings. Uh, this will flare the end, out, end of this out just enough to receive a bullet. Um, let me grab a let me grab a bullet here. You see, as it is right now, I don't know if you can see that or not, this bullet doesn't want to start in there at all. So, by doing this next step on prepping this case, If you can see down in there, it's just like part of a bullet in there. And like I said, it just barely flares this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Which, um, just like the primer or the resizer and deprimer, I have these preset and Loctited together. Um, the only thing. that will change on my presets 
is when I get to the last phase in that seat in the bullet because each bullet is different length but we'll get into that after a bit once we start reloading. Pretty simple process. You can't even tell it happened. I mean just just ever so slightly flares it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of these now and uh, this will probably take another 15 minutes and then we'll be ready for primer. Only a couple more to go. There it is. 